Hello, this is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Welcome back again. We're going to look at something a little bit different today, and that is a product called Canvas. That is another learning management system. And the reason for looking at that is because in a project that I had with Moodle, I was asked to export 40 plus courses into the Canvas LMS. Just to give you a bit of a background on Canvas, Canvas is a product by Instructure and it's just another LMS. It's actually a great LMS. It has some really good advantages, but also some disadvantages. One of the bonus things with Canvas is that it is also an open source product like Moodle. There is a version of it that is open source. So if you do decide you want to have a bit more of a look at it, you can actually install a version of it yourself. Or if you go into the installing Canvas information, it does suggest go to Canvas Cloud and use a free account there to have a look. But the question is, one, can we import a Moodle course into Canvas? And two, how do we go about doing that? And three, what are the advantages and disadvantages and issues that we came across doing it? So I'm going to actually export a course and show you how to do that uh, from Moodle, import the course into Canvas, and then give you a bit of a guide on the things you should be looking at and some of the issues that I came across in that process. So let's get started. The course I'm going to use is called Practice Course 1. And it has in it some start content tasks and down the bottom we have some quizzes and an assignment. So all of that is there ready to be exported. So all I do is go to more, course reuse, and we use the term backup. So I'm going to back up this course. Make sure I remove the enrolled users because I don't want any user content transferred over. I just want the course to be transferred over. So jump to final step. It will do a backup. I select continue and I download the backup. There it is, we've got our file. So I'm going to jump into Canvas. I've created an account for myself. I'm just going to create a new course. So I go all courses and a new course. We'll just call this demo one for demonstration one. So we've got a new course. I now go to import course content. I choose Moodle. 1.9 slash 2.x. Uh, I'm going to choose a question bank, but before I do that, we're going to add our file. So I'll go and grab the file. So there's the file that we exported. Uh, our question bank, we'll just go create a new question bank and we'll just call it default for the moment. We tick all content. Now the reason for the question bank is we need somewhere to put all the quiz questions that are being imported at the same time. So we're just going to put that into a default question bank. All right. And otherwise, it's all of the content that's in there. So pages, assignments, everything. Select import. The import is a two-part process. One, it uploads the, the file. In this case, it's not very big. Then it goes through and does the pull apart Moodle and recompile it or put it all back together in a Canvas format. And that happens as a background task. So sometimes it can take quite a while. And straight away, it will tell us if there are any issues. And here there is, there's a missing link found in imported content wiki page body. That just means there is a missing link. We need to fix it. But to be more accurate, let's go to settings. And I do this every time I import a course into Canvas. Go to validate links in content and start link validation. This goes through every page, uh, every bit of content in the course to let me know if there's any links that don't work or need fixing. So I can quickly go through and fix those. There is our issue. It's the same issues we had before that came up at the start. I'm going to go to that page and I'll quickly explain what happened here. In my Moodle course, I created a direct link to another Moodle course. And you can see down the URL right down the bottom that it says course view by ID, which number three. Well, that doesn't exist in Canvas because it's a different product. So I'll need to fix that or do something. So I'm just going to quickly go edit. Go down to the content and remove that link just for now. And I'll save that content. Now I can just quickly go back to settings, validate links, and redo the validation just to make sure that everything else is fine. And that should come back with, yep, it's all good. You can move on and do something else. So that's the first thing. Course link validator, I always go to that once I've imported the content. And once that's checked, no broken links, great, we can go on with looking at the content. So let's choose home. 
you can see here we have our sections. So start here with our pages. Notice the forum came over, so that's good. Uh, the welcome page appeared, which we've already had a look at. There's our work, welcome page. One thing that I did notice that doesn't come across is any font awesome icon. So if we go back to our welcome page in our course in Moodle, you'll notice that I had a font awesome icon just there with that arrow. Font awesome doesn't come across, but some of Bootstrap does come across. So some layout um, and formatting in Bootstrap does. Notice the image here, no border, no background, just the text in the bottom there. Here we have a border, so that's part of Bootstrap that did work and did come across. Uh, it's really just the positioning, which isn't really Bootstrap, it's just CSS. Uh, but the um, border and this, this box that sits around it, or the card, hasn't come across as part of um, the part of the layout. But the alert did come across, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go and look at the next little area. And that is down here with our quiz. So if we go into our quiz, it says here we've got a practice quiz. If we preview, preview the practice quiz, it looks like that. And there is quiz instructions, but there is no quiz questions because it may have brought the questions in, um, but it hasn't actually added the questions for us. So even if we go to edit and edit questions, there's no questions actually in the quiz. If we go to if we go to find questions, which is just there, find questions, we can go through and choose those questions that were in our previous quiz. So we had a embedded close question, I had a matching question, a multiple choice one, what country is Australia, true, false. Uh, any of those, I can now add those questions and basically rebuild the quiz out of that, which is incredibly annoying. Uh, but that's the only way I've found to do it so far. Hopefully someone can correct me and there is an easier way to do it. But that shows you that you don't have to go and recreate the whole quiz. You just need to go and grab the questions, put them all back in order and tidy that up. So that's an inconvenience, but that's how that bit works as far as I know at this, this stage. Assignment. Uh, the assignment one is fairly simple. It's not really that much different. Uh, we can just publish the assignment. Uh, once it's published, uh, everything else is fine. Um, the The value of what the assignment was was 100. Um, notice there's no reference to completion or anything in here as well. So you can see that the completion part of Moodle doesn't come across, not in the same way as how Moodle does course completion. So that bit's missing as well. If I go into the student view, uh, this is what it'll look like for a student. They get their pages and they can run through all the pages with all the content, work their way through. Notice Code Pen doesn't embed properly in Canvas as well, another thing to be aware of. So if you are using things like Code Pen or embeds, take notice of that. And I'm just going to jump to one more page to show you. Okay, I just want to show you that uh, video embedding also works. So they are the three different types of video embedding that I demonstrated uh, with all the content linked to it as well. That part of it isn't a problem if you've got embedded videos. I'm just going to leave the student view and take you back to the home page. Other than all the other you know, mixture of new things that are inside Canvas or different things that are inside Canvas, that is the process of exporting a course out of our Moodle platform. Uh, then importing the course into Canvas and then just checking that all the links work. And then obviously you need to go in and fix up the quizzes and then reset any other settings that are relevant uh, to Canvas. But it's, I would say, mostly a painless exercise. But things like Bootstrap, certain functions in Bootstrap don't work, so test them all. And obviously font or some icons aren't working correctly either. But lots of other things do work, so hopefully that's been helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.